Hello and thank you for joining me today. Uh, my name is Jimmy Sparopoulos. I'm a customer success coach here with Bright MLS. Um, today, what I want to talk to you about is uh, isolating water from properties when searching in the public records. Uh, you know, a lot of folks like to do some prospecting and do some targeted uh, marketing and, um, you know, sending out specific material to certain um, types of uh, homeowners. And, um, you know, when you're in um, an area that's surrounded by water, you might want to be uh, looking for those uh, properties that are on the waterfront and kind of target your messaging to them. So I want to show you how we can isolate uh, those groups of individuals. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our public records. Okay. And we're going to build out our search. I'm going to use pretty simple criteria today. I'm just going to type in the zip code. Um, Leaf 201037 is out in Anne Arundel County. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and search that area. Uh, we're going to come down to our property information type. And I'm going to go ahead and hit residential. Okay. Now I could go into residential type. You know, maybe I want single detached property, so on and so forth. But in the area that I'm creating this search, um, the tax records aren't you know, recognizing the residential type. So I'm going to leave those out. Um, as always, whenever you're creating a search in the system, every time you enter information into a field, make sure you're looking at your matches to ensure that the results that you're getting, you know, are logical. So I can see that zero matches. Uh, this is a field that I don't want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and omit that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to owner occupied because, um, you know, maybe I want to target those homeowners that are on the water that might not want to or might be looking to sell their property. So um, we've got waterfront owner. I'm sorry. Residential class is uh, or property class is residential owner occupied. And now what I'm going to do is come down here to my additional fields. All right. I'm going to go ahead and in the search bar, I'm going to type in county. And the first thing that I'm gonna see is county land description. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that or select that and add that as a selected field. And we'll go back, All right? So I've got a little over 5,000 matches right now. So I'm gonna narrow this down. And I'm gonna enter waterfront in this field. And as you can see, I'm left with 695 matches. So I'll go ahead and go into my results. And I just want to make sure that, you know, that that information is correct. So I'm going to add an additional field. I'm going to hover over one of my uh, tabs here until I get these crosshairs. Go ahead and click on my mouse. I'm going to insert column. All right. I'm going to type in county land description again. Right. We can see it right there. I'll highlight it. Hit apply. And I can see that it says waterfront. So I'm good to go. Now, if you ever want to just double check to make sure that this is pulling the right information, um, we can go back into the criteria. I'm going to go ahead and just remove waterfront from here. Okay. Go back into my results. Right. I think it was on page four because there's a lot of results here. Let's let's jump through here. Yeah, okay. We can see one. So there we go. So we can see that there's a bunch of them that do have the county land description uh, as waterfront. Uh, so I know I'm getting the right information. So obviously, I'll probably just go back into my criteria so I can narrow this down. Go back into my matches, and then I can see that they're all waterfront. So I'm good to go. Now you can go ahead and export this data in either a CSV file or create your mailing labels and start your campaigns on, um, you know, getting in touch with these individuals. So um that's how you search for waterfront properties within the public records. If you have questions, comments, concerns, let us know. We're here to help. And uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope, uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.